Did you know why a key has such design? In this video, we are going to learn how this universal type lock works. And the reason for this specific design of this key. The actual mechanism is very simple. When you insert the key into the keyhole and try to rotate it counterclockwise, this piece is pushed out due to chem action. This locking piece slides into the pocket section. Now it is locked. Conversely, when you rotate the key, clockwise, key rotation makes this locking piece slide backward. The wardrobe can be opened now. When wardrobe is locked, locking piece fits into this pocket. This lever part plays an important role to make it a real lock. Let's try to understand the working mechanics. When the key is rotated counterclockwise, front end of key pushes this lever up so it rotates upward. Key also slides the lock forward. At this point, this wire spring makes the lever rotate downward. And this small extended part of the locking piece gets trapped into this notch of the lever. So the locking piece cannot slide back. Let's observe it one more time. Now when the key is turned clockwise, key pushes the lever up, so lever rotates upward and this part gets free from notch section and the pushes back the locking piece. So the door gets unlocked. Let's add one more lever piece here, but this lever has different pocket cut section. If we try to open this lock with the same key, key will push this piece upward as well. But then, the locking piece will not be able to slide back, and the key will not turn further. The solution is a different key with different shape. This key does not push this lever up while rotating clockwise. So the locking piece can easily slide back without being blocked by the second lever. Stacking multiple lever of different shape and different order requires specific key to open a specific lock. This is how a this type of locking mechanism works. Please do like and share this video to support us make more content. And subscribe for more. Thank you for your support.